the outside turn for beginners. At the younger levels of water polo, when there's not a ton of contact, you can teach the outside turn for kids to use it to go by a player, just like a crossover dribble in basketball. Again, same idea. I'm gonna present the ball to the defensive player. At lower levels especially, most kids chase the ball. So when the kid brings the ball up, it starts moving towards the defensive player. Once the defensive player becomes hand, reaches hard for the ball, we just move and we spin around and let go of the ball to come back inside. Again, the idea is there's very little contact, if any. For a 12 and under or even a, a, a lower level 14 and under, they don't have to have any contact to make this move a success. They present the ball, the reach, and the spin. The key here is to make sure the kids are go from a vertical position to a three quarters position and continue down the field of play. So here we'll talk about the same move for a more advanced player at a higher level. And really the main difference is there's gonna be a little more contact with my inside arm. And I'm also not gonna turn my body around to the outside. I'm gonna to stay to the inside and just sort of do a, a half moon or a semi-circle around the body. So again, as I get the ball up, I really wanna lock the defense. A lot of times you can do this as a cross pass is coming and right as I'm receiving the ball, the player is lunging to me. I'm up high and I'm coming around. And notice I'm not turning around. But this time, I'm just making one simple move. So I've locked up, I'm using my inside hand, coming out, around, back in. And again, right at this point, I wanna come, put my dominant arm forward, get my hips up, and start doing a strong egg beater and attacking for the goal. Again, we don't want to keep our shoulders square once we're inside water. So make the move inside, take the ball from here, and then you're coming up to the breaststroke and putting the ball away.